She went there, I wanted her in my Whether it is social concern or spiritualism or philosophy or science or technology, everything is targeted towards a purposeful way of living. And the width and breadth of the depth or the wider coverage of the purpose may be different, but everything is oriented towards purpose. Today we have taken a subject which is of utmost concern for the contemporary crisis as well as a tool for all around in our capacity development that is very much necessitated by the modern society by all means and we have taken media, society and human rights and it has been well organized, somebody asked what is the connectivity, mutual connectivity between these two things that is society, we are living in the society, everybody knows what is society and how to technically how to systematically assemble the role of media and human rights along with society it has been clearly defined in the sociological pursuit that the goal of life is to have a rightful, righteous life. So human rights becomes goal of life and the society has two divisions. One is rule and second is role. Wherever there is a congregation of people who are highly qualified, highly committed to engineer the society. You know that there are compartments and there is engine in railways. Like that in the social movement or the social automobile, that should be the engineering of the fully committed designated personalities with the talent, multi-level potent, sacrifice and other values which are essential for driving the social movements. And all other members of the society, they like compartments, they have to play the role of subservience, obedience and not abiding this. So society comes to two major divisions. One is a ruling division, second is the role making division. Then coming to the final solution, what is the proper way or tool for making all of these things? It should be having mass reach, it should be having deeper reach, it should be having attractive reach, that type of multidimensional, multifaceted element that is with the promptitude, rapidity, mass access, deep penetration, population, instantaneous invigoration in the society is media. So media is a tool, society is a rule and role and human rights is the goal. So we are going to talk about rule, role, tool and goal. So it has been logically synchronized that we have taken a composite subject for today's discussion. And uh, you know that whenever you talk about society, people get bored. Society is a sore subject and human rights is a hot subject. Let us start with media which is appearing to be sweet whether it is really or not. So we are talking about media according to philosophy. Philosophy means it may not be theological philosophy or metaphysical epistemological philosophy. According to social philosophy even media is nothing but a source that can guide us with ways and values of life by all means. And it can have two dimensions, major dimensions of that. One is education, second is entertainment. They are not different from each other. The proper value is to synchronize or to synthesize both. We used to say in Shastras that entertainment is nothing but subtle education by which you are attracted by means of this alluration then a subtle methodology of imprinting of the values are given by means of an entertainment base. So entertainment is subtle education and sophisticated entertainment is what we call education. So it has been so interpreted and related by Shastras. Now recently they have coined a hybrid word known as edutainment in which they are trying to bring education in entertainment media or channels. So media should have also a subtle education mode as well as sophisticated entertainment mode by which the ways and values of life are fully nurtured in the society by means of a responsible mechanism which is coupled with the tool of technology also. So this is what we call media. So whenever we are talking about media, the Shastras further classified that there are three media. One is transmedia, second is base media, third is mass media. What is transmedia? Each and everybody, we are our own medium. I have my own medium. Medium is the space or a place in which I can cultivate the seeds of information, transform those seeds of information into valuable action and productivity in the society by all means. So I am also a medium. So personal medium, interpersonal medium, empirical and experiential qualities are included in trans medium level. Then the base 
medium, you know that the medium of knowledge, instruction, sharing, whether it is education or entertainment, they started with the printing industry. And now, to the advent of technology, we are having innumerable media systems. Advertising media is there, electronic media, electronic business media, digital media, hypermedia, graphical media, multimedia, mass media, print media, publishing media, news media, telecast media, broadcast media, internet cyber media, innumerable media systems are there in the society. So it is a definition through media that it should be the source of ways and values. That is a commitment or demarcation of what we call media. Then whenever you are coming to media, there is a new subject now coming, but not in a proper direction known as media psychology. Lot of people they are doing research on media psychology. What is media psychology? Studying about the impact or productivity of media in the society and reform the media or to update and upgrade the media standards so that it will be educative, it will be transformative in the society catering to the global well-being or social well-being. That is known as media psychology. But unfortunately, that angle is not there in this society at all. There are three concerns, spiritual concern, social concern and commercial concern. If you don't mind your personal benefits catering to the need of other people, that is spiritual concern. Wherever there is mutual development, that is known as social concern. Wherever you are not minding about the recipient's benefit at all, and on the contrary, you are trying to exploit the person's weakness and stagnation for self-development, that is known as commercial concern. And commercial concern is there in the media more. That's what we want to rectify. And media, great scholars are there like Dr. Rutledge, Dr. Frumling, they are all very great scholars in media research. They have maintained a very great research center on media psychology. But they are concerned only with the technical reforms. They are concerned with the technical reforms of media and possible more fusions and how psychology can be taught through media and uh, enrichment of the society or the society's learning, how it can be done by media. So everything is commercially orientalized more than the ethical impact or the empowerment impact of media on this society, there is a problem. What is the response? Media psychology, I want to say a few words, which will pave a very strong foundation of the lectures which are going to be given here or anywhere else in the world. Because media response is the society is a medley of various levels of responses. All are not uniform in nature. A person's external appearance or education or a person's empowerment has nothing to do with a person's mental state. A person who is a, a very great person in stability, in ruling and administration, may be having a lot of loopholes inside. So, response is evaluated in terms of somebody, they may have neglect response. Yes, I don't bother with media. Apparent response, neutral response, imprint response, ignite response, lead response, intensification response, guidance response, exasperation response or enhancement response, whatever it may be. So, 